I hope you are well in your home. Today we start our next topic, temperature and its measurement. Before starting, first I explain what is temperature. We explain temperature by some examples. When we touch ice, we feel cold. When we dip our finger in hot tea, we feel hot. If you have fever, your body gets warm. The doctor takes the temperature of your body to find how much fever you are running. So my question is, what does temperature tell us about the state of an object? So we can say that it, tell, it tells how hot or how cold an object is. So we can say that temperature is a measure of hotness or coldness of a body. In other words, we can say that degree of hotness and coldness is called temperature. So I have here, here written temperature is a measure of hotness or coldness of a body. The unit of temperature is Kelvin. It is denoted by A device used for measuring the temperature of different bodies is called thermometer. Commonly thermometer is used in laboratory is called laboratory thermometer. Here I have drawn the diagram of laboratory thermometer. It consists of a very fine small glass tube having a bore commonly called capillary tube at the one end of the tube is provided a small glass bulb the bulb is filled with pure mercury at the other end of the capillary tube is sealed after removing of air from it. The capillary tube is protected by a thick glass tube is called stem. This stem are marking on minus 10 degree Celsius to 110 degree Celsius. This marking are called graduation or degree so pause the video and write down the definition of thermometer temperature and draw the also diagram of laboratory thermometer my next topic is thermometric scales in first celsius scale this scale is commonly used for measuring day to day temperature the lowest point on this scale is 0 and is expressed as 0 degree Celsius. It corresponds to the melting point of pure ice. The highest point on this scale is 100 and is expressed as 100 degree Celsius. Celsius. The length between these two points is divided into 100 equal parts or markings. These markings are called graduation. Next, standard international scale or Kelvin scale. If the temperature of bodies can be 
below 0 degree Celsius. The question arises, what is the last limit of temperature? Scientist Lord Kelvin theoretically calculated the last limit of temperature is minus 273 degree Celsius. The last limit of temperature that is minus 273 degree Celsius was named absolute zero temperature by Lord Kelvin and it is represented by zero Kelvin. The thermometer scale using zero Kelvin is called Kelvin scale. On this scale we can write we can say that 273 Kelvin equal to 0 degree Celsius 373 Kelvin equal to 100 degree Celsius. Pause the video and write down in your classwork copy. General formula for converting Celsius scale into Kelvin scale. Kelvin temperature equal to Celsius temperature plus 273. In short, K equal to degree Celsius plus 273. To understand, we take some example. First, convert following Celsius temperature to Kelvin. First temperature is 20 degree Celsius. Here, if we want to convert Celsius temperature to Kelvin, we can add 273 in given temperature. Here, first we write formula Kelvin equal to degree Celsius plus 273. Here, given temperature is 20 degree Celsius. We put here 20 plus 273. The answer is 293 Kelvin. Again, second, minus 30, de 30 degree Celsius. So, procedure are same. First, you write formula. A equal to degree Celsius plus 273. Given temperature is minus 30 degree Celsius. So, we put here 30 degree Celsius. We put here and add 273. So answer is 243 Kelvin. Similarly, if we want to convert Kelvin temperature to Celsius temperature, we can subtract 273 in given number. For example, 40 Kelvin. So first, you write the formula. Degree Celsius equal to Kelvin minus 273. Here, given temperature is 40 Kelvin. So, we put here 40 minus 273. Answer is minus 233 degree Celsius. Similarly, second, again, we write the formula degree Celsius equal to Kelvin minus 273. So, given temperature is 40 Kelvin. So, we put here 40 minus 273. 
given temperature is here 20 Kelvin. So put here minus 20 minus 273. Answer is minus 293 Kelvin. We know that minus minus plus. So here we add and we get minus 293 Kelvin. So in short, if we want to convert Celsius temperature to Kelvin, we can add, we add 273 in given temperature. Similarly, if we want to convert Kelvin temperature to Celsius, we subtract minus 273 that means we subtract 273 in given temperature that so in short we write again formula if we want to convert Kelvin Celsius temperature to Kelvin degree Celsius plus 273 and if we want to convert Kelvin temperature to Celsius, degree Celsius equal to Kelvin minus 273. Pause the video and write in your CW copy. My next topic is clinical thermometer. The thermometer is used to measure the temperature of human body is called clinical thermometer or doctor's thermometer. We know that the normal temperature of human being is 37 degrees Celsius. Construction or description of clinical thermometer. It is marked from 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius because the temperature of human body does not fall below 35 degrees Celsius or it does not rise above 42 degrees Celsius. It has triangular stem in which runs very fine capillary tube. The tube is provided with neck near the bulb. The neck is allow the mercury to push its way in the capillary tube but does not allow it flow back unless thermometer is jugged. Use of thermometer. First, we wash thermometer with cold water. Then, it is placed the mouth cavity of patient under the tongue for one minute. After that, it is taken out from mouth and the temperature is read. Precaution. We should never wash clinical, clinical thermometer with hot water or placed in sunlight. It is likely to break. My next topic is measurement by estimation. First, I explain estimation. Estimation means a quick judgment about measurement of particular quantity. In order to make estimation, we use our sense of touch, smell, taste, sight or hearing. I give example. You have to decide a piece of cloth which is 
more rough than other for it you do not need any special tool you move your finger on each piece and feel here we use sense of touch but here there are two important question which arise regarding estimation first when do we make estimation second how do we make estimation as far as the first question is concerned the answer is that when we have to make quick judgment and we do not have any tool we make estimation even we make estimation when we have any tool because accurate measurement may be time consuming as for the second question concerned the answer is that we use the five senses and similar experience for similar experience in fast for making estimation